7.30 in the morning and Mindy and I are on a train. Uh, we just left Nice and we're on our way to Monaco. We're doing a quick two hour visit to Monaco before heading uh, on to Italy. We'll step foot in three countries today. Um, we have all our bags. Which is kind of a hassle, but uh, hopefully Monaco will be fun. All right, so update, we just arrived in Monaco at the train station, and our plan was to leave our bags in a locker so that we didn't have to carry this and that around. <laughs> and what are we informed? We are informed that leaving your bags at the station or in a locker is forbidden in Monaco. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. <laughs> So now, Je ne comprends pas. Je ne comprends pas. So now we have two hours to explore Monaco with bags. It's gonna be good. <laughs> GTs. So here we go. Let's let's give it our best shot. And our best shot we did give, as we attempted to make the most of the challenge we'd been handed. Beautiful, it really is. Just hot. Just hot and heavy. Hot and heavy. Hot Get and hot heavy. and heavy in <laughs> Monaco. <laughs> uh, hot and heavy in oh, Monaco. Okay. Perfect. Ridiculously expensive cars to the infamous Monte Carlo Casino. This place lived up to its name as home to the rich. Once we'd walked as far as the heat and our bags would let us, we sat down to reflect on our travels. Well, we've walked around Monaco for the past half hour, carrying our bags, which is very heavy. It's getting very hot. The sun is out. It's only 9 a.m. And um, we decided to take a rest. I think we are done sightseeing <laughs> already. Our train isn't for another hour, so we'll slowly make our way back to the uh, train station. Right. Pick up our bags. Oh Probably the casino is open. Yeah. I don't think they would let us in. <laughs> sure. What are you wearing? <laughs> yeah. Your outfit must cost at least $500 to enter. Yeah. The Monte Carlo. <laughs> yeah. But these wonderful uh, Russian people took photos of us, did a photo shoot for us. We only wanted one photo and they took <laughs> four, which is great. But uh, are you having fun, Mindy? Oh, I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Yeah? Oh. E is it easier or harder than you thought? Hmm, good question. You know what? It's actually a bit easier. Like, I think that when you're in transit, it's kind of like, oh yeah. God, why did I take the things? That I took? Yeah. You're probably thinking that what, about me too. Why, why, is she, why is she carrying a no, five I... liter bottle of shampoo? <laughs> Have you seen this here? Um, no, I thought really everything just falls into place and it's just. It's so easy to just walk around and feel like, even though you've been in the city for 10 minutes, like you can just navigate your way through and... That's true. I, yeah, it's, it's, it's really surprised me how... And how free, you can just do whatever you want and it's... If you don't uh, see everything, you don't see everything. Exactly. If you see one thing, you've seen one thing. It's not going anywhere, except Venice, which is apparently... Sinking. Sinking, so... So we're, we're rushing to get there as soon as we can. <laughs> we'll be there in the next week or so. Yeah, so we're Hopefully we're it's good. still there. <laughs> we're good. But um, there will be some more journeys as we head to Italy. Yay! Making our way back to the train station, our short but exhausting visit to Monaco came to an end. Next time on Backpack with Brock, we're off to the picturesque Cinque Terre, where Mindy wishes she had a backpack. You're a pro. The laundry gets washed. Wow, that's gross. And we do an empowering six-hour hike. 
the door cat. Mindy's got her door cat on. If you enjoyed this video, you can hit like, leave a comment, or you can subscribe by clicking on me. Thanks for watching. Click on me.